We're about to cover more smartphone filmmaking accessories than any other video ever has. If you shoot YouTube videos, social media content, travel videos, commercials, and more, these accessories are guaranteed to improve the look of your content. My name is Anthony from contentcreditor.com. We've got a ton to cover, so let's dive in. All right, up first, we gotta talk about the flashiest smartphone accessory that people are always asking me about, the lenses. A good lens can really improve the look of your content, but if you do a quick search on Amazon, you'll find literally hundreds of different lens options, most of which are absolute garbage that will only hurt the quality of your content. Now, after years of purchasing tons of different lenses and extensively testing all of them, I have finally found what I believe to be the clear winner, both in quality and fair pricing. The brand is ShiftCam, and they've been taking the content creation world by storm. The second you pick up one of their lenses, you can immediately feel that they are extremely high quality and well-made. I mean, just look at that briefcase. Talk about presentation. But which ShiftCam lens is right for you? I wanna be very clear here and remind everyone that one lens isn't better than the other. Each has a different use case depending on the type of content you're creating. I do wanna start with my personal favorite though, the 16 millimeter wide lens. The standard focal length on most smartphones is around 26 millimeters, which is wide, but not quite as wide as I like for my talking head clips like the YouTube video you're watching. So instead of switching to the built-in ultra wide angle lens on my iPhone 15 or S23 Ultra, I place this lens over the main camera to get that wider field of view while still using the high quality sensor on the main camera. I'm telling you, this has a massive impact on image quality. Now, if you don't like the wide field of view, the opposite of this would be the 60 millimeter telephoto lens. Perfect for filming subjects farther away or if you just want a more focused look to your content, with more scene compression. If you're trying to go for the ultra cinematic look while filming horizontally, you could go with their anamorphic lenses, which give you a significantly wider aspect ratio with those black bars above and below the content, similar to how Hollywood movies are filmed. I use these all the time for my travel content and cinematic commercials. Then finally, just for fun, I also love their fisheye lens for those unique shots where you just want a different look. Okay, moving on, accessory number two is a good filter for your phone. And just like lenses, there are a few important types that we need to cover. As far as brands are concerned, my two favorite are moment filters and shift cam filters. And if I could only have one filter, it would be a variable neutral density filter. Think of this like a pair of adjustable sunglasses for your camera. It cuts down on all the extra light when you're filming outdoors, allowing you to keep the shutter speed low and have that ultra realistic and cinematic motion blur in your videos. Now motion blur might sound like an unimportant aspect of shooting professional videos, but trust me, it is one of the biggest things that separates amateurs from professional content creators. And my personal favorite VND is the four to 32 stop option from ShiftCam. Now the other type of filter that's worth looking into, especially on a phone, is a creative filter like this Cinebloom by Moment. Cinebloom is a type of diffusion filter that gives this dreamy haze to the highlights in your content. This is perfect for smartphones because I think a lot of phones, they over sharpen their videos a little too much, giving just like a digital look. The Cinebloom filter fixes all of that. And just so you know, I typically go with the 20% strength option. Now, this brings us to accessory number three, which actually answers the question you might be thinking right now, which is how the heck do I actually mount all these lenses and filters to my phone? So accessory number three is a good mounting case for your smartphone. Or if your phone's not a supported model, just get this universal lens and filter clip. Now, as far as cases are concerned, we're definitely following a trend here. My favorite mounting case is by ShiftCam, and they actually have models that support the two most popular phones out there when it comes to creating content, the iPhone series, in the Samsung S23 Ultra. Now, I promise this video is not sponsored by ShiftCam. They just have extremely high quality products. And when it comes to making sure our lenses, filters, and mounting options all work well together, it's key to try and stay within the same brand as much as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna spend a ton of extra money buying extra mounting gear, which is only gonna slow you down when you have to switch between the different lenses and filters. But even if I didn't own ShiftCam lenses and filters, this case would still be my favorite case. It's super slim. It has slightly raised edges to protect the screen. The back of the case is this textured leather that looks great and it also feels great in your hand. And then of course the mount is super high quality. It makes sure that all the lens are fully protected and the connection between the mount, the lenses and the filters is really secure. And then something else that's small but I really love about this case is the fact that the buttons are actual buttons, not just molded rubber bumps like most cases out there. 
Now, if you don't like using a case with your phone, another option I love for mounting lenses and filters is this magnetic MagSafe mount. Super quick and easy to use. Now, one final thing we need to mention in this section is that sometimes you need to adapt different filter sizes between cameras and lenses. And if that's you, it's actually a really easy process. You just get these step up rings. Now, if this setup isn't cool enough for you, stay tuned because we're gonna rig this phone up even more. Okay, moving on, accessory number four is a smartphone gimbal. If you're tired of capturing shaky videos with your smartphone, a gimbal will be your new favorite accessory. They use a motorized balancing system to counteract the movements while walking or running to seriously smooth out your videos. Not to mention most smartphone gimbals also have advanced features like auto subject tracking, motion time lapses, and more. My favorite gimbal for smartphones is the DJI OM6, which we actually just did a full video on, so I'll link that in the description so you can watch it later. The only thing to keep in mind with the OM6 is that it was built to be the smallest and easiest to use option for anyone. If you wanted something a little larger that can also handle the additional weight of other accessories like lenses, microphones, and filters, you might wanna go with something a little bigger like the Hohem i Steady M6. Up next at number five, we've got a crucial accessory that is honestly an essential if you're creating content in 2024 and beyond. It's a professional microphone. This is what the built-in microphone on my iPhone sounds like. And this is what your audio can sound like using a cheap $14 microphone from Amazon. This is the Pop Voice Pro lavalier microphone. I love it, but you do need to be kind of close to the camera because you are connected by a wire. Now, as a slight upgrade, you could get this Boya wireless microphone kit. It's gonna come with two transmitters and one receiver that plugs directly into your phone. And obviously with this kit, you can go wherever you want because the wireless range is really good. This is perfect for all types of content, but definitely those scenarios where you have multiple speakers because it comes with two transmitters. All right, coming in at number six, we've got a staple in the video production world, a tripod. And I know it's not that exciting, but this is probably my most used accessory, along with the microphone we just talked about and the accessory we're gonna talk about next. Now, my favorite tripod is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Tripod. It's super compact and lightweight. It has a built-in smartphone mount. And even better, it's still strong enough to hold all of my professional gear. The only downside is it comes at a pretty high price. But to bring things way back down to the budget-friendly level, the Yukos tripod on Amazon is perfect for using both handheld and on the ground to keep your phone in one place. Moving on though, number seven is a crucial accessory that by itself probably makes the biggest difference in the quality of our videos. And this is a professional light. Now lights don't need to be super expensive. For example, in this scene that you're watching right now, the lights in the background cost maybe 20 to $30. I think I got them from Target. But let's look at this same scene without those lights. It's a pretty crazy difference that those two lights have. And now let's turn off this neon light on my wall here. Again, that's a light that I picked up from Etsy. And now with just three lights in the background turned off, we have a completely different scene. But those aren't the lights you care about. What you care about is the light that's hitting me right now, which we call a key light. Here's what it looks like with that light turned off. It's pretty incredible what one light can do. Okay, enough of this. Alexa, office lights on. Okay. There we go. Much better. So the key light that I'm using in this scene is the Godox SL60. Coming in at a little over $100, I think this is a steal. But keep in mind, in order to really get the most out of your light, you need to diffuse that light source. And this is where a softbox or diffusion panel comes into play. What you're looking at right now is what the Godox light looks like straight out of the box without any diffusion. Obviously, it's pretty terrible. Now what you're seeing is the same light, but we're using the softbox to add some diffusion and it looks 100 times better. Then finally, if you wanna focus your light a little bit more and keep it from spilling on the background, what you'd wanna get is a honeycomb grid. And this is what the same scene looks like with a honeycomb on. Now, if that's all a little out of your budget, I'd recommend getting the Yong Nuao YN300 light with a five-in-one reflector kit. That's gonna come with a basic diffusion panel that works almost identically to the Godox light with the softbox. Just remember, with this setup, you're also gonna need to get a stand and little clip to hold the diffusion panel. Okay, now accessory number eight is probably the most controversial one. Why? Well, it's not really an accessory that we buy for our camera. And beyond that, there are so many different options available. People love to spend all day arguing about which is best. Can you guess what this is? 
It's the editing program that we use. Now, recommending an editing program is an entire video in itself, which we do have in our full online course, 14 Day Filmmaker. But generally speaking, I think there are three worth mentioning in this video. Up first, if you wanna edit on your smartphone, go with CapCut. If you wanna edit on your desktop and you're a beginner who plans on doing relatively basic edits, I'd still go with CapCut because they actually have a desktop version as well. But if you really wanna become an advanced editor and play with the big dogs, I'd go with either DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere Pro. All three of these programs will allow you to create amazing content and both CapCut and DaVinci Resolve have free options that are still extremely powerful. Now for everyone watching who's already chosen an editing program that I didn't just mention, sharpen those fingers, I'll meet you in the comment section, let's fight it out. I'm obviously kidding. There are tons of amazing editing programs that I could have mentioned to make everyone happy, but if I did that, this video would go on forever. These are just my three personal recommendations. Let's all be friends. With that being said though, I do wanna take a moment and point out the fact that we have have entire training series on each of these editing programs inside our full online course, 14 Day Filmmaker. Not only will you learn how to edit in these programs like an absolute professional, you're also going to get lifetime access to the entire suite of 14 Day Filmmaker courses at contentcreator.com. This includes 14 Day Smartphone Filmmaker, which teaches everything there is to know about maximizing the quality of your videos on both iPhone and Android devices. We cover the cinematic settings, all the best apps to use, deep dives on how to use all of the accessories we mentioned in today's video. We've got a full training series on professional lighting, along with series on creating viral Instagram Reels, TikToks. There's literally so much in this program, it's insane. You'll also get our newest course, 14 Day YouTuber, which teaches you exactly how to start and grow a successful YouTube channel, like the one you're watching right now, which we grew to over 100,000 subscribers in just over one year of focused effort. You're also gonna get 14 Day Pro Camera Filmmaker, which teaches all of the advanced gear and strategies that professional content creators use in their day-to-day -day workflow. It is a lot of streamlined educational content and behind the scenes demonstration videos in one package that literally costs less than most of the accessories we talked about in today's video. I also personally host a live weekly Q&A call in our student community where I will answer all of your questions as a virtual mentor. Over 100,000 people have already joined this course bundle and if you want lifetime access to everything, there's a link to join in the description beneath this video. Moving on though, accessory number nine is a fun one, dedicated grips for your phone. And pay close attention because I'm gonna be giving away a ton of these for free to subscribers of this channel and it involves knock knock jokes, so you don't wanna miss this. But back to it. Having a dedicated grip isn't going to like immediately improve the look of your videos, but it can improve the overall shooting experience and it gives you more options to mount additional accessories to your phone. This is the Ulanzi smartphone cage. And as you can see here, there are tons of different mounting options that we can take advantage of. Not to mention having two dedicated handles on both sides of the cage is super nice. Beyond the cage though, we gotta do another throwback to my favorite brand, Shift Cam, because they have these super cool MagSafe snap grips that give you a dedicated shutter button for videos and photos, and if you hit this secondary button, it will also start charging your phone as well, which is a huge thing that tons of people forget about. Recording video eats a lot of battery life, so having this charging function all by itself seems worth it. And of course, being able to use a phone with the traditional grip style of a mirrorless or DSLR camera, it's really nice. Not to mention you can also mount additional accessories using that magnet on the back of the case. Now, like I said earlier, I'm actually gonna give away this Ulanzi cage and a couple of these snap grips to subscribers of the channel. So here are the rules to enter. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't already, hit that button. Up next, head to my Instagram, which is at underscore Anthony Gallo. Smash that follow button and then comment your best knock knock joke on any of my posts. I'll message the winners 14 days from now on Instagram to get shipping information and send you your prizes. All right, now we've got to talk about accessory number 10, which is an external hard drive. Again, not the most exciting accessory, but one thing is for sure, if you're shooting videos, eventually you're gonna run out of space on your phone. Just like Thanos, it's inevitable. But beyond that, the new iPhone 15 allows you to record ProRes log footage directly to an external hard drive, which is a super nice feature that I have been loving. And even if you don't have an iPhone 15, I imagine this is a feature that lots of new smartphones are gonna be rolling out in future generations. So it's just a good idea to have external hard drives. Now, my two favorite hard drives are the Samsung T7 Shield and the SanDisk Extreme Series, both great for storing videos and recording directly too. Now that officially does it for my top 10 most valuable smartphone accessories anyone can use to upgrade their content creation workflow. All the gear mentioned in this video has been linked below in the description for easy access. Other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button, maybe join 14 Day Filmmaker, and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.